or let chat come in and fix our audio levels. Yeah, of course. Uh, let me just bring. Oh, I look so tired. <laughs> uh, let's see. Am I getting an alert? Sorry. Um. Yeah. This. I look. I look pretty tired as well, but I suppose you know when you go to bed at two o'clock in the morning for the last few days. Yeah, nope. that's probably why. I... <laughs> I didn't get an alert. Did anyone else get an alert? No. Haven't either. But mine, I don't know. I sometimes just don't get an alert. Yeah, I sometimes don't. Yeah, me neither. It's weird. It's very weird. Um, it does look like it's on now. Make sure we're turned down. And we will wait few minutes to let chat enter and we will chat while we're doing that <laughs> yes yes we will so um how is everyone doing right now uh still trying to find the actual stream well you know there we go <laughs> uh, i'm here I'm good. yeah Oh, I'm good. Good, good, good. good. Um, yeah, good me week. too. Excellent. Yeah. I hope more R R U K peeps come in. Oh, they will. Just give it time. Mm. So I'm just started. I know. I'm very um impatient. In case you didn't know that. <laughs> Have you um tweeted it out? Oh, I'll, I'll do it now. I'll do it now. I didn't <laughs> think of that. Yeah, thank you, Chloe. Chloe's on the ball. Yeah, this. This is why we should have Twitter, um, yeah, uh, Twitter set up for also notification. Yeah. Why am I going? Stupid thing. Mm -hmm. It brings up Switch before it brings Twitter up. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Twitch and Twitter are very. Yeah. Letter close. Yeah, but on, it does, but on most occasions, like it would bring my Twitter up first rather than Twitch. But because I've been going on Twitch more frequently, I guess on desktop. My Twitch brings all the Twitter to the yard. And they're like, it's better than yours. <laughs> well, I hope chat will join us soon. Come visit us, chat, please. I'm ready Mostly. to retweet. I should probably retweet as well. Mostly because um, I don't know what the sound levels are like unless chat's here to tell me. <laughs> oh. Is it in Discord as well? We're about to go live. Uh, do you want? Do you want to put that out there, uh, Chloe? Do you want to put it on in yeah. Discord? Laughing at billionaires. Get the big tweet. Please, if you're in chat, tell us how good it sounds or not. <laughs> Wee. P, when you um upload this to the YouTube's, uh, it's just gone on video content. But oh, good. I'll put it there anyway. Um, yeah, it usually does that anyway. You may have. There to, you go. You may have to edit the beginning. Yeah, well, we might do. I am at a loss for words. Wow, the first time wow. Ever. Jesus. What? what? I was going to. I thought Chloe had retweeted my. Like, the tweet, like, almost immediately. But no. she'd retweeted the, the, the other one. <laughs> the, the Nana one, I think. Oh, right. Yeah, and then I did I did yours. Then. Yeah, so I was like, whoa, that was quick. I know you said you were ready. And like, wow. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I love SpongeBob. What? 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 Where does that come from? What? I'm ready? What? Oh. Uh, 
<laughs> yeah, I'm tired, okay? Oh, uh, you know what's a terrible thing? I really needed to go to the bathroom before we started. <laughs> oh. oh, well. Look, I did this. I need to go and get a drink. That should have been one to go. I know, but go I was eating. setting up stuff. So now I'll just drink a bottle of wine, and then when we're done with tonight's transmission, I will go and do my own transmission, too. <laughs> Why are no there anyone in chat? Please talk to me. <laughs> uh, well, Pete, you gifted a sub. No, I subbed. No, you subbed. That's it. Hey, it's Lynn! Yo! Hey, Lynn! Yeah. How's it going? Lynn made her first... Her first? Her first, uh... Her first? Uh, her first? I've been in Ireland too long. Her first K-pop, <laughs> uh... Whatever that's called. TikTok. Um, oh, nice. She's a K-pop fan. Uh, okay. I'm trying to remember what the... Yes, I did tell on you. Haha. <laughs> it's so cute, Lynn. It was so cute. I was dying. <laughs> uh, don't, don't worry, Lynn. You you have no fears about me ever looking at it because I refuse to download TikTok. <laughs> there you go. Stray Kids, that's what it's called. Stray Kids. Yeah. And I wouldn't have known who they were because I don't do the K pop thing, but uh they apparently did a Deadpool uh tribute. I'm out. Maybe I'll get into K-pop after all. <laughs> oh, what a surprise. Deadpool uh, gets you into something. Deadpool gets me into everything, and he can have... I'm not going to finish that sentence. Um... Good. Because it's, like, it's like an old avocado having sex with an even older <laughs> avocado. Wait, am I the older avocado? No, you're the old avocado. <laughs> He's the older avocado. Uh... Well, I would take We that all know avocado. you fantasize by that as well. <laughs> uh, Anyone who's known you for more than five minutes knows that you're filth. I, <laughs> I have a permanent residence set up in the gutter. It's my summer home. But, um... our con honestly, our conversations over the last few weeks, that bonk meme has had to come out far too many times for my life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yep. I love I love the bonk meme. It's great. It's needed a lot when you talk to me. <laughs> it's needed a lot when you're in a when you're in a Discord group with with a load of other people who are all yeah. on the horde scale as well. I was gonna say because you you're on the um I won't I won't reveal which Discord. But um... Whatever we play it, don't care. I will okay. reveal it. I'm pretty sure they're as open about it as anyone. Well, yeah, they have a not pay for work channel, and Jesus. Man. It gets a bit wild in there. <laughs> sort of get a bit naughty. <laughs> <laughs> no, I said wild for a reason, because it's not naughty. It is over the top sometimes. Yeah, see, I'm just body and naughty. Chloe, I'm going to move your name. Do you think that's too low? I should put your name on top of your head, huh? And it, and I'm, I'm taking sure. over her neck. <laughs> I was wanting I'm it to sure match. My name. Yeah, I fair I enough. Put, I get it. I put it on so straight. <laughs> there we go. Okay, that one is yours. I'm gonna move it up. Look, it's over. Oh man. Okay, we're gonna put it in a different color. How about that? Yeah, that would have, that probably would work. Let's see if we go with red. Painting to roses. Oh, I did it in a thingy, a gradient. What do you think of that? Oh, nice. Uh, I'll put it. I don't see it right now. Yeah, oh. it's not bad. I'll put an outline over it. Outlines yes. are always good. So, Chloe, what other plushies have you actually got behind you? Because I can't quite I see love clearly. Them all. I love them. I mean, I could okay. see, I could see Mr. Nook there, like stealing your belt. <laughs> yeah. So we have from right to left. We have Bulbasaur, Pichu, Cyndaquil, School Bunny, Bulpix. Yeah, he's School Bunny. <laughs> Kirby, Celeste, KK Slider, Rover, Tom Nook, and then there's a little Buckbeak from Harry Potter. Nice. Aww. Just poking off the edge. <laughs> oh. 
Uh, yeah, I, I kept seeing it on your stream, and I was like, I really want to see them, but I was like, it's obviously like really small window yeah. you're focusing on the game. <laughs> but obviously, Mr. Nook is like the most prevalent one there. <laughs> I'm gonna take the wine bottles out. <laughs> oh my God, Kylie, you didn't even <laughs> put them out a shot. <laughs> and he makes a noise as well. Aww. Does he? Then coming through my nose. He's feeling oh. shy today. Oh. No. <laughs> he won't come through the mic. Aww. Well. A little bit. Little well, bit. At least my mic. Just a little bit, yeah. But he right. is cute. Am, as am, I, am I uh am I right in thinking it's like Yeah. Yeah, okay, fair enough. I know exactly what I'm hearing then. <laughs> See? Wholesome and stuff, and Pete, yours is too. This is what my background and is. And yours is debauched. No. <laughs> it's the shocker. Oh, I used to love those things, to be honest. They are awesome. Oops. I'll have to redo it. Sometimes it's middle finger, sometimes it's shocker. Hey, look, it's Kieran. Hey, folks, how you hey. doing? Hey. How you doing? I've never even really watched Friends, but I know that that's uh. what they say. N not they, Joey. Yeah, okay. <laughs> That's what they do. I knew it was a Friends reference. No. Yeah, you did. I'll give you that, to be fair. I'm Wendy. I, I haven't seen Friends in years. I think we've established on this show that we're not fans of that show, but, mm -hmm. you know, it's cool that other people are. Neither am I. Okay. Okay. <laughs> now I can speak real about it. it I hate that show so much. <laughs> no, 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 no. Look, when I when when it first came out, when I was at school years, like it was fine. It was fine. It's just it hasn't aged very well. No. I don't think. Um, no. Okay. Especially that really, really bad English like set of English episodes with the woman who's. Yes, you know, one of the worst person. English accents I've ever heard in my life. But the funny thing is, right, is you know, um, this is gonna really annoy me. The uh, the maid from Frasier. Oh, um... Right, Roz is the producer. What is her gosh darn name? Um, I mean, Niall says it a thousand times an episode. I, know. I should know. Daphne. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Daphne, like. You think she's like? Do you think she's got the worst English accent? I thought she was English. She's from Manchester. She actually is from Manchester, <laughs> and her character is from Manchester too. Right. Which is really weird. Because I had a mate well, who turned around and said that is the worst English accent I think I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> I was watching Aww. this show the other day called Yes Minister. Mm -hmm. uh, it's like one of those old, old ones, but I'm catching up on my British comedies. And Good. they had a guy from Texas there, but it was clearly an English person trying to be a Texan, and it cracked me up. I was like, oh. Obviously. That's like you <laughs> trying to do a British accent. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm very good at that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know whether to feel offended by that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Um, I mean, Chloe can laugh. She's well. She's fine. Yes, yes. Yeah, we it, it makes no bearing on her whatsoever. I mean, nobody can talk your language chat. anyway. Oh, <laughs> I, I, I don't even know I if like, like eighty percent of Welsh people could even talk here. <laughs> Wasn't that the joke on Gavin and Stacey? What? That like, there's only like one person in their entire village who even speaks like traditional Welsh, oh, and no one yeah. can understand him. Oh, God. <laughs> Yeah, it's the guy. It's the guy who sells the knockoff meat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, Kieran from chat says he's all right. I'm going through the process of upgrading my PC. Nice. Oh, um, nice. So that's been a bit annoying. It can be very annoying. I absolutely agree. Um, mm. Thankfully, I'm here to have fun and see what you guys have in store for us. Um, uh, spec me. What your specs at? Tell me. Need to know. <laughs> Mine's terrible because I need upgrades. Yeah, you need 
I need upgrades too. I just did mine two years ago, and I'm like, I hate it. I'm ready to upgrade it. I'm I'm just wondering whether or not I should actually just take some money out of my my mortgage fund and just go. You know what? Thirty eighty. Thirty eighty pre build. Oh Might as well. You don't need to zoom Might. up that high though. Future proofing for the next ten oh, years. No. See, no, you cannot future proof a PC. It's impossible. What a what a thirty eighty, or 30, a thirty ninety. Yeah. I know it will be. I know fire uh, probably two years down the line. It will two be. years, you'll be able to get but, them for like sixty quid. Yeah, true. But bearing in mind that like the um the t the ten sixties are still very good. I know. And, like, they're like I massively old as well. I think. It, where do I? No, I don't have a 10. I have a 20. Oh, what? A 2060 Ti? Yeah. I'm nice. drinking, so I forgot my numbers. Uh, um, no, it's, it's fine. I, um, we're also probably I've done a lot of research chat. in graphics cards recently. Yeah. But we're probably boring our wonderful chat. So, chat, let us know how our volumes are. We're all going to sit here and talk for a bit just till we get the volumes right. Yeah, um, sure. I'm going to see if this uh, epic music plays quietly underneath because it fits so perfectly with what we're doing. Yeah, just test it now and see if obviously people can hear. The other two can't hear this, mm. but I want to know if chat can because it fits so perfectly with this. <laughs> but I do want to know how everyone's doing on this wonderful uh, Friday night, uh, 45 minutes late. As we start this. Mm. That's good. Oops. It's going to be a short one. Uh, we originally, I originally wrote a script that was about 35 to 45 minutes long. And then I wake up today and find that the judge has sealed half of it. So I took the sealed stuff out. So everything you guys will hear tonight has been unsealed, is in the public domain. It's safe, it's sound, no liability, all that stuff. Uh, well, yeah, of course. Um, yeah, we don't want to get, get all uh, taken down for uh, legal issues, especially when it's to do with Apple and Epic. Yeah, but um, we I have all... I definitely won't win that fight. Yeah, no. <laughs> but we have all the documented stuff we need if you are out there and you need references. We have the judge's order and all that good stuff. Um Lynn, you say right. sounds good. Can you hear the epic music churning mm. in the background? Okay, so Kieran says, if I'm being honest, Pete, it's mainly the graphics card and monitor. Graphic card isn't isn't most up to date, and monitor is 4K. Also, volume's good for me. You can hear the music yeah. too. Woohoo! Mm. I wish yeah. the other two uh, could hear it. <laughs> good old 4K, the old 4K monitors. That's my next upgrade. But well, yeah. that could that could be about four years time because I've only just upgraded to that to an actual 4K TV like within a month all right so let's set the mood dang it you know what i found out i'll say this before we get into it um there's an extension you can add to chat where they can control your like philips hue lights all of my house is a philip hue lighting system except this room uh, I was like, hang on a second all right, all right hang on guys i'm getting a phone call coming through i'm just gonna have to take it and just okay. tell them i'll call back <laughs> oh right, it's probably it's serious. Probably the GF. <laughs> ah, good. Okay, good, good, good. Uh, chat saying that the music's good. Good. Uh, just let us know as we go into this if you can hear us, um, all three of us, uh, and the music. Um, <laughs> I've done this with a kind of Game of Thrones vibe because you'll see as we get into it, they literally talk like that. That's not a joke. We're dealing no, with. They do. Yeah. Like billionaire nerds. <laughs> and I tell you what, Chloe's got some of the best lines out of the whole thing. It's so good. It's so good. Oh, it's so good. And uh, it was, of course, campy and over the top because that's how I do everything. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> uh. Music is very serene, apparently. Well, 
sounds good. It'll start turning along, I'm Jeez, sure. Kylie, you're so loud. I can hear you through I'm my sorry. headphones, but not even on my head. <laughs> tell Look, me I'm loud. Right down here, and I can still hear it. It's clear. Oh Do gosh. I even need to wear them? I got so excited. I get so loud when I'm excited. <laughs> Now that I have taken my headphones off, Jesus, my PC is whirring a well loud. I'm worried. Don't say that. We have a, a thing to do. An episode it, to produce. No, it's because my computer's been on all day. Like, since 7 this morning, so it's probably just going, Turn me off! I've had enough! Alright, well, I've turned myself down a little bit, so uh, hopefully it won't drown out everyone. Um, uh, apparently, I'm louder than you. Which... Oh, nice. Okay, that never happened, so that's that's good. <laughs> no, it's probably because like, I was getting overexcited. Well, I want Chloe to be loud and clear as well, um, and we are about to begin. So mm. I wish I could lower the lights. That's what got me on the Philips Hue rant. So, <laughs> oh, please, please, let's not actually include that plug-in, because you know some, some absolute plum is just going to go in and just go red, blue, off on yeah. like every couple of seconds <laughs> and then someone might who with photosensitive epilepsy might actually oh, have a problem I didn't think of that. and funny. then we'll get banned on twitch for that so yeah That's probably funny. not a good idea no oh, good. We'll not so you can hear chloe giggle that's good uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay we're about to begin uh if I must this, bring my dog if this goes well two things one we will edit it and do a nice professional thing for uh, YouTube. Two, mm -hmm. we'll do more weird things like this. Yeah, this is a test run because it's quite like quite an interesting like discussion point. Like, because obviously, oh, it's company good. to company, and it's it's quite juicy with details as well. So if we ever oh. find anything quite like this again, then absolutely we'll do it. I was telling chat that Chloe's got some of the best lines. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Chloe, Chloe has some cracking lines, but I'm really yeah. looking forward to the one that you kept posting all the time. I know, I'm so excited. Don't mess it up. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah, because I messed it up in the table read, which is why we're uh, why we're late. Okay, are my performers ready? Right. Hey, okay. Before we start. I've got to post a TikTok to the Rapid Reviews account. Excellent! I'm for oh. <laughs> that is... I forgot. Uh, uh, does that mean I now actually have to put that as the... Crap! What? There you are. Thanks. You know, you know I've just recorded that new outro for the podcast. <laughs> and now I have to include the TikTok on it. Thank you. I now need to re-record it. Uh, Cheers, guys. Yep. Welcome to Audio Mediums. <laughs> Let me know when you're ready. I'm not gonna drink anymore because I'm gonna get silly with my reading and I need to be I need to be serious and focused. Mm. These very serious emails. Yeah, not I was serious at all. It was yeah, it's a there was something that Kylie had said to me on a private chat. She said that I could do, and I just went, uh, no, not not, not tonight. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. Yeah. yeah, I was like, uh, not tonight. <laughs> okay. Not, not like this. Not like this. Oh. Yeah, I was literally just referencing uh, the Matrix. Matrix like, you know, where yeah. I, uh, yeah. I haven't seen it, and I know that. Um. <laughs> You've not seen the Matrix? This is, a, this is for another discussion. Yeah, after this, after this reading, I'm going to grill you about why you haven't watched The Matrix. I've not seen The Matrix, Pirates of the Caribbean, Fear and Loathing, and Las Vegas. Uh, oh, th thanks, um, Lynn. What theme music do we want over this TikTok? K-pop. <laughs> <laughs> Pokemon. Yes! Yep. Pokemon is why always not? the answer. Oh, speaking of, speaking of Pokemon um to do with this this sunday's episode um i actually have a really good point to raise about something to do with pokemon on it Ooh, good guys that's another thing if you're out there in chat um i've lost track of who's out there um join us sunday for sure we have yeah. a very special guest we pete and i are going to be grown-ups we're going to do grown-up interviews that's all you're getting 
That was your teaser. I'm not gonna have pink hair. Or wine. What even will I be? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Someone or something. Someone or something. I'll never quite yeah. know. We shall wait for a moment because Chloe looks like she's still in uh, in the in the oh. swing of TikToking. Yes, um, Lynn would like to know what the uh, ooh, it's Jonathan. Hi, Jonathan. Yeah, right. Lynn would like to know what the uh, Rapid Reviews TikTok is. Uh, ad address, username, uh, what is it? Uh, is it Rapid Reviews UK? Is that it, Chloe? I think it is just yeah, Rapid Reviews UK. Okay. Rapid well, that does make things a lot more handy, really, because it's pretty unified across everything, isn't it? Yeah, that's the way it should be. Hmm. Which it, which makes this Twitch channel a little bit unusual, because it's just rapid reviews. Yeah, well... I have nothing to say to that. Usually I've put Fortnite song over it, so... Oh, that would be... <laughs> <laughs> we should all get up and do the Orange Julius. Uh... <laughs> I'd much rather do the Carlton. Yeah. I mean, I, I was. No, I'm not going to make the reference to get into the Greek. No, because I still haven't seen that, and you keep referencing it. It sounds amazing. Huh? Oh, get into the Greek is hilarious. Like, if you watch Forgetting Sarah Marshall, it's basically mm -hmm. like a, a sequel oh, to that. Oh, right. Um, okay. You know, Alda Snow, the the one that's um that's um bonking. Uh, what's her name? I can't remember I agree, her name. But Sarah Marshall, obviously. Um, yeah, it, it's basically centered around his his return to the music scene. It's really right. funny. Like there's um, a, there's a moment where he turns up in New York and he's doing like a um, he's doing like a song on um, like Breakfast TV, I think it is. Okay. Yo, J Mac, hello mate. Um, yeah, he's doing a song on Breakfast TV, which is called really? African Child. Oh, and, oh god. Um, gosh, it's like oh one dear. of their worst songs of all time, and um, oh, he's forgot he's forgotten the lyrics to it. So the the guy who's accompanying him runs around the entire place trying to find people who knows the lyrics to it. Oh, and he walks gosh. up to one of the guys who's on the bongos, and he's just like, "Do you know the lyrics to African Child?" And he's like, "Nah, man, I just sit here and make, I, I just sit here and play the bong bongos and make the African face." <laughs> so freaking oh, ridiculous. Okay, right, we... um, the TikTok is posted. <laughs> uh, turn it into a dot gif for donations. Oh yes. No, please. never, never. Yes. <laughs> I mean, yes. Look, we. Yes. Who? I mean, people haven't made that like reaction like emotes yet. And um, by the way, by the way, more... Jonathan, you have to sub to get those. Yeah, we do need subs to get emotes, even. Does that make sense? Uh, we can't unlock the next tier of emotes until we get subs. But I'm yeah, show showing you. my privilege right now. Thank oh, you. I was Jesus. about to show mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, are you. We're so the cool if... kids. Look what we can do. So, so if you have Amazon Prime, you have Twitch Prime Gaming, and that means you can link your accounts to gift your one free sub to us every month. It's true. It's mm. true. And as we unlock uh, more tiers, we will, do... Jill. Yes. we will do some more Deadpool emotes. I mean... Uh. <laughs> Might get DMCA for that one. Deadpool, call me Kevin, they're all coming. <laughs> Look, no. you can have Kevin in a hot tub as one of yours uh, if you want. I don't care. I, I have one of Kevin riding a banana in the hot tub, and I am saving it for a special occasion. That's your wine induced like oh moment my God! in bed later. <laughs> Thank yes, you it so worked! Much, it worked! Jonathan. Thank you for subscribing! You. Oh, I, can't, I can't believe it actually worked. That is amazing. Thank you so much for that. Thank you, Jonathan. Appreciate time. it. Really do. Like, honestly. Unfortunately, right. you don't get that first note, like, icon like I do. Oh, oh wait, you do. You, oh, he has as well. Six Thank months. Six nice. months. Oh, amazing, amazing! Shout out, amazing. Look, uh, so because you donated this performance no, to Jonathan. No, yeah, we will. But now for the now for the next six months, I have to call him daddy. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, Kylie, I know you nearly spat your drink. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't believe you just made that future armor reference there. Of course, that? everything I make is a future armor reference. Um, I watched that episode only a couple of days ago <laughs> as well. This makes it so weird. Oh goodness. Okay. Well, uh, chat. That just got weird. I love it. I love it. Sorry, I love it. It's beautiful. I love our chat. Oh no, Lynn! I think that's yep. Go, <laughs> yes. There you go. Happy. Woo! Yes, yeah, someone clip that. <laughs> oh my gosh! All right. Are we ready to begin? Part of me really wants to do the dance that Will and Carlton oh. do to get out of Vegas. Uh, I'm not going to, though. That's a year subscription for that one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Jonathan, that's great. That is really awesome. Much appreciated. Um, I had to pay out of pocket for uh, that stuff. My Twitch Prime is already... Oh, you're... That's you so didn't have cool. to do that. Yay, Jonathan's yeah. my hero. Um, <laughs> okay, we're about to get into our tale. Yep. Our tale of intrigue. And I better not start saying the things that I actually wrote um <laughs> so wait, i'm gonna actually say the intro without reading it um okay oh my gosh <laughs> i'm not responding to that i just saw it okay. yeah i saw it <laughs> i'm trying i'm trying to get into character yes. yes uh please enjoy this tale that we're bringing you um i said before but i'm gonna go ahead and repeat it now for the new people in chat um, this was longer. I had it at 45 minutes. I've been writing it for five days. Um, but the judge just closed a few, or sealed some of the records. And so everything that was sealed, I cut. So everything we'll be reading is in public domain, has been printed, is totally allowed and legal. That's just to kind of, you know, make sure everybody feels okay about it. <laughs> yes, YouTube's copyright system. <laughs> Once but it goes is, up. it's still completely nuts and insane. It is absolutely crazy. These billionaires. Oh, amazing. Um, okay, but I think we're ready to begin. I think how's so. Everybody? How's my performers mm -hmm. feeling? You ready? I'm nervous. It's the first I'm time ready. I've acted on camera before. <laughs> You'll do wonderful. <laughs> I've already heard you both table read, and it was beautiful, and it was hilarious. Mm. It was you saw me cracking up. I mean, that's just... <laughs> I didn't. I had the document up, so I couldn't oh, see well. it. Oh, <laughs> well. Well, yeah. I was laughing. I, I, I saw you cracking up. up. Okay, <laughs> fine, cool. Good. <laughs> okay, uh, so I don't have to introduce this because our names are already there, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm Kylie Wild. I'm joined by Chloe. And below me, it's Pete. <laughs> I was like, I don't know where I am. I know, it's like, ooh. Um, Raise the roof. Whoop, whoop. Um, and we are playing a myriad of different characters. Uh, just follow along as best you can because it's all insane. <laughs> all, all you need to know is I've got all the fills. Yes, <laughs> he has all the fills. He's got his filling of all the fills. Uh, and Chloe has the best lines. So, <laughs> so here we go. We're about to begin. Tonight, we bring you a most epic tale. One of fortune and misery, but mostly fortune. Lots of fortune. Too much fortune, one might say. Anyway, our tale begins in a distant land ruled by four great houses. The Grand House, Microsoft. House Sony, the oldest house. Apple, the wealthiest house by far with a market value share of two trillion dollars. And finally, Google. The youngest house, but still quite a mighty one in its own, mi own right, who also shares an alliance with the minor house, Samsung. But on the horizon, there came into view a few of the uh, upstarts who were beginning to amass their own fortunes by combining forces in an attempt to conquer the giant houses. Epic Games emerged, rebellious and defiant, with a new gaming model it called 
G-A-A-S, or Games as a Service. And they asked for help from another minor house, one called Tencent. They united their houses for $330 million and unleashed their greatest weapon upon the world and called it Fortnite. The weapon was devastating in its effect and brought to them many riches, including $3.7 billion in the year of 2019. Now that you know the players, let's begin. Let's begin in the year 2011 as Apple, in order to become the one ruler of them all, put its plans into action with an email from Steve Jobs, the former lord of House Apple, written to its senior vice president of internet software and services, Eddie Q, and member of the company's executive team, Philip Schiller, two names we will see more of. I think this is all pretty simple. iBooks is going to be the only bookstore on iOS devices. We need to hold our heads high. One can read books bought elsewhere, just not buy, rent, subscribe, or subscribe from iOS without paying us, which we acknowledge is prohibitive for many things. As the marketplace known as the App Store grew, so did its problems. Here's an email from Philip Schiller to several Apple executives on the 3rd of February, 2012. What the hell is this? Remember our talking about finding bad apps with low ratings? Remember our talk about becoming the Nordstroms of stores in quality of service? How does an obvious ripoff of a super popular temple run with no screenshots, garbage marketing text, and almost all one star ratings become the number one free app on the store? Can anyone see a ripoff of the top of a top selling game? Can anyone see an app that is cheating the system? Is no one reviewing these apps? Is no one minding the store? This is insane! A few months later, Vice President of the App Store, Matt Fisher, sent an email that included Philip Schiller as a recipient. We've updated the weekly App Store and Mac App Store app dashboard to be more informative and visually appealing. Please take a look and let me know what you think. Best, Matt. Philip replied almost immediately, saying... This report is amazing. Very informative. Note you have a scam app, Palm Reading Booth, on top, on the top charts that should not be on the store. Ha and have you, have you hide my fart, that should never have been approved. And you have hide my fart that should never have been approved. Apologies. As Apple learned to adapt and handle the monster of its own creation, Epic's founder Tim Sweeney reached out to Tim Cook. CEO of Apple, specifically, in an email dated June 25th, 2015. Hi, Tim. Y'all should think about separating the iOS App Store creation from compliance review and app distribution. The App Store has done much good for the industry, but it doesn't seem tenable for Apple to be the sole arbiter of expression and commerce over an app platform approaching a billion users. It would be extremely positive for Apple to take this approach proactively before the topic is overly complicated by a opposing political, regulatory, moral, and competitive forces. Best regards, Tim Sweeney, Epic Games. Was this a portent of things to come? Perhaps foreboding? Foreshadowing? Well, Tim Cook replied the only way he could, by forwarding the email to his team and asking, Is this the guy that was at one of our rehearsals? Sent for my iPad. Not long after this missive was ushered, Epic developed a game called Fortnite Battle Royale, which was released in September of 2017. By May 20 2018, they had amassed over 125 million players and had earned $1 million plus on microtransactions alone. Epic then felt confident to make its first move upon the ancient house of Sony in an email sent to Phil Rosenberg, public affairs director for Sony. Dear Phil, Sony's interoperability restrictions have put both of our companies in an untenable position adversarial to our customers. Many Fortnite players are kids, and their friendships are being torn apart by Sony's segregation of players on competing platforms. Frankly, we do not believe Sony's position on crossplay is even legal. Please see the attached analysis prepared by our European Council in the context of EU law, including, importantly, GDPR, data portability mandates with direct bearing on cross-play and cross-purchase. 
Perhaps Sony had not previously considered all of the implications of the GDPR legislation and of Sony's growing market position. We urge you to please do so now and to please reconsider whether there is some amicable way that we can open up Fortnite together in a partnership benefiting all. Ultimately, though we love Sony, we love our customers more. Please understand that Epic firmly believes that this action is a matter of legal right and moral duty. And I am conveying this to you following extensive deliberation and legal analysis across several continents with Epic's board members and major investors. And we are prepared to pursue this course with all available resources, where it leads us and for however long. We urge Sony to find a way to enable this in a positive partnership and to join Apple, Google, Microsoft, and Nintendo as stewards of platforms enabling all customers to play together with all of their friends. Best regards, Tim Sweeney, founder, CEO, Epic Games. Rosenberg responded. Hi, Tim. I appreciate your note and sincerely want to ensure you that my company is taking Epic's request seriously. As we have discussed in the past, we would never want to inhibit a gamer from enjoying a video game anywhere he or she wants. We love our consumers too. I have asked our legal teams around the world to review the letter that you have attached to your email and I'm confident they will dig in and discuss it right away. I certainly can't comment on your counsel's option, but I understand their point, I think. I know, I know that you have a clock running and yet I still don't believe we will be prepared to be included in the cross console announcement during E3. I hope this is not an issue for you, and I certainly don't want to see any news regarding Fortnite that would be negative for either of our companies. Thanks for your partnership and understanding, Phil. Not one to be outsmarted so quickly, Tim, Re Tim Sweeney replied. Hi, Phil. Thanks for your continued efforts. It is important to highlight how definitive a moment E3 will be for Fortnite, and the general principle at stake. We'll announce and release on Switch cross-play, cross-purchase between Switch, PC, Xbox, Mac, iOS, and Android, which is coming soon after E3. We'll announce the broad details of the eSports program, which will be extremely inclusive and player-friendly. There is great eagerness among all partners to announce their eSports participation. We won't delay partner announcements by weeks or months on the mere hope of future Sony Epic discussions being fruitful. Tim. Phil rose to the challenge. Hi, Tim. I'm not op optimistic we could get anything composed by E3. It's just a week away. Maybe we should talk on Saturday. I want to make sure that I am crystal clear about what you are saying. Sound okay, Phil? At some point during the day, the two contenders spoke privately, spurring Tim Sweeney to pin this screed. Hi, Phil. Thanks for your two long talks with me today. We would love to find a way to launch a great E3 Fortnite esports debut in partnership with Sony. And processing the tone and thoughts in these emails, please understand that Epic much prefers, and we assume Sony also prefers, to have the frankest possible policy discussions in private than to have any sort of public conflict later. And I apologize, as I was optimistic that the opportunity offered in our original eSports proposal was so wonderfully beneficial to Pla PlayStation and the future of the platform that these harder conversations could have been avoided. Tim. Around the same time, Joe Craner, Epic's Vice Pre President of Business Development, Development, wrote to Sony. We love working with PlayStation, and we want this to be a win-win. The longer this drags out, it will be less so. I can't think of a scenario where Epic doesn't get what we want. That possibility went out the door when Fortnite became the biggest game on PlayStation. Let's make this a huge win for us all. Epic's not changing its mind on the issue, so let's just agree on it now. Joe Craner. As we now know, a mere three months later, Sony announced crossplay on the PS4 via blog post. Following a comprehensive evaluation process, Sony Interactive Entertainment has identified a path towards supporting cross-platform features for select third-party content. We recognize that PS4 players have been eagerly awaiting an update, and we appreciate the community's continued patience as we have navigated through this issue to find a solution. After Epic conquered Sony, 
It then set its sights on its next conquest, Microsoft, Google slash Android, and eventually Apple. Tim Sweeney approached Microsoft's Phil Spencer with a different tactic, one of almost complete fealty. Hi, Phil. Folks from the Xbox teams are in North Carolina today, and we had a productive discussion in which we disclosed the following highly confidential plan. We're bringing Fortnite Port Battle Royale to iOS and Android in late February. Not a dumbed-down version, but the full experience, running at 30 FPS and supporting cross-play, cross-purchase, and cross-progression. We want to work with Microsoft to unblock all console mandate interop restrictions. It will sell lots of Xboxes as players are pulled into the small screen experience socially and want to upgrade to the much bigger, better, big screen experience. Please help us excuse this for launch, Tim. Phil Spencer, always the jovial gentleman's businessman, replied. Congrats on the success with Fortnite. I'd love to be a great platform and service for Fortnite, allowing you to reach maximum potential for the games across all devices. I was aware the team was there today, and I instructed them to be supportive of your asks. The stickiest of the issues is cross-purchase. I think it's solvable, so I'm not saying this is a blocker, but we do need to work through the scenario with you. Unrelated, one thing you should look at is Mixer and Hyperzone on PUBG. We see good viewership on Fortnite on Mixer, and we'd love the opportunity to innovate with you here. We'll work through this. Cool opportunity. Phil. It would be a while before Microsoft and Epic would come to a deal, but the foundation for the continuing relationship was laid in that moment. Meanwhile, Epic was also forging an alliance with Samsung in the hopes to reach into the Google slash Android market from a side door. The alliance was not only a coup for Epic, but a personal triumph for Tim Sweeney's ego. Dear DJ YJ Thomas, Thank you very much for all of your support for the successful Note 9 and Fortnite launch today. We're grateful for the faith Samsung has put in Epic to make this possible. You have my assurance that Epic will support Samsung 100% in any battle with Google. We will not ever give in to Google pressure to support Google Play, even if Google blocks Fortnite on Android, and even if the battle requires litigation lasting many years. Fortunately, our best defense is the love that customers have for Samsung phone, phones, Unreal Engine, and Fortnite. Though Google has threatened us in private, uh, they are unlikely to actually retaliate, as that would be visible to all of your customers, the industry, press, and regulators. We'll stand firm in our partnership to advance the whole industry together. Best regards, Tim Sweeney, founder, CEO, Epic Games. Spurred on by the fiery rhetoric of the uncomfortable Tim Sweeney, the head of Samsung Business and Strategy, Thomas Coe, rallied behind his newfound champion. Tim, you are truly inspiring. We at Samsung will do the best we can to make this collaboration a game-changing moment. Entire industry is heard and now they are watching us. Let's make history together. Thank you for your support for Samsung and looking forward to the success of Fortnite, Cross Note 9 and many, many more. Best regards, Thomas Co. With most of the players in place, Epic moved forward their assault upon the last of the great houses. It all started with a plan set up by the Vice President of Engineering, Daniel Vogel, to undermine their respective app store fees, pulling it at nap tax, for developers slash publishers by releasing their own store within a store plan. The critical dependency on Going live with our V-Bucks price reduction efforts is finding the most effective way to get Apple and Google to reconsider it without looking like the baddies. We submit a build to Google and Apple with the ability to hotfix on our payment method that passes the savings on to customers. We flip the switch when we know we can get, get by without having to update the client for three weeks or so. Our messaging is about passing on pr price savings to players. Google, Google and Apple will immediately pull the build for new players and potentially take an even more aggressive stance. What comes next is what is less well defined and in my opinion should be our focus. What is our detailed communication and legal plan at this time? What is our approach when Fortnite goes offline on mobile devices due to la lack of ability to update? 
How do we not look like the bad guys? And what is our strategy to counter Apple and Google's lobbying? As I assume that this that will be done in overdrive, as they will treat this as an existential threat. Any disagreement on this? Daniel, Epic Games Inc. After much discussion on what the next step would be, Vice President and Co-Founder Mark Raines made a foreboding prediction. We should realize that there's better than 50% chance Apple and Google will immediately remove the games from their stores the minute we do this. They may also sue us to make an example. The members of Epic prepared for battle with Google, laying out their strategy in an email from my Matt Weisinger. We will face challenge. Google and Apple are so large. There are beat reporters on them as their job. When it is large company versus large company, these writers will defer to Google and Apple and defend them. The way that changes is if we go to that table with their friends. Epic is not sympathetic. Start to build a coalition. Publicly announce a coalition and their mission. Have an agency from public affairs that helps manage it. Come up with your list of advocacy points. Get rid of the app tax and add some other issues. With a coalition, we're not the only voice in the news cycle. Now it isn't only us, and the conversation is much larger. When it comes to the press, that results in more neutral to positive coverage. One company versus another on a policy issue is one dimensional and not sustainable. Coalition will take one to two months to get started, 80k to 100k to get the coalition funded. They're running polls, they're running ads. Go the nuclear option, it becomes the catalyst for the coalition, which is up and running and can dimensionalize the battle for us. Hoping for a sustained media press or ongoing groundswell is unlikely. Our company is too successful to be sympathetic about it. It's a rich company versus a rich company. We just need a sustained amount of press. The problem with this fight is that nothing new will happen. We will not win with a sustained battle. It is a big successful company versus big successful company. We have employed the firm who can run the strategy for us and build the coalition for us. Alternative option, fake submission with Apple. Has to be perceived as a win for consumers, but the 80% of savings isn't enough to win by taking the game away. Apple has no problem going down a litigation path and they will not cave in a week or a month. We have to have a strategy of sustained sympathy, and at some point they can't take it anymore. One company can't do that. He later followed up with, Propose what a structure looks like to take this on. Need more of a robust schedule and content pipeline. What response is ready to go in the down scenario? Create narrative though. We are benevolent. Create dimension. And thus, Project Liberty was born, a facade coalition created to mask a cause born of greed. With its birth, Tim Sweeney reached out to Phil Spencer at Microsoft once more. Hi, Phil. Long ago, we talked optimistically about the possibility of subscription-free multiplayer on Xbox. PlayStation requires subscriptions for multiplayer, but exempts free-to-play games, including Fortnite. If this is coming, please consider the possibility of timing the program to support Fortnite Season 14 launch. Epic has certain plans for August that will provide an extraordinary opportunity to highlight the value, valuable proposition of consoles and PCs, in contrast to mobile platforms, and to onboard new console users. While I can't share the details with any third party at this point, I give you Epic's assurance that our efforts will be positive and supportive of Microsoft, Xbox, and Windows. I realize this is incomplete information, and you have a big ship that's slow to turn. So the specific ask is, please keep in mind this possibility for August 27th, and expect events through August to draw specific opportunity into focus. Tim. Phil Spencer, busy fighting his own battles, replied, I owe you a bunch of things, and I'm behind. I apologize for that. Just a lot going on, but that's not an excuse. You've obviously seen our Samsung announce, and now our back and forth with Apple. At the highest levels of Microsoft, we are committed to pushing on those, these policies and continuation to expand our console platform's capabilities. You can chime in as you feel comfortable, but I did want to just let you know that I have your point on xCloud on other consoles, haven't given up, free to play outside of gold, 
We will get there and I want to partner with you and I'll store entitlement ideas as items. I, I'm going to review with you to make progress. I'm committed to that just behind. Hope you're well, Phil. This was a markedly different tone from the years before and Tim Sweeney seemed energized by the reply, enthusiastically replying with the promise of bloodlust. Totally understood. I gather there's a lot going on at Microsoft nowadays. Anyway, you'll enjoy the upcoming fireworks show, Tim. And thus we end our tale here. A tale of intrigue, strange alliances, mass coalitions, but above all else, greed. No matter what the outcome of the tale of Apple versus Epic in the coming weeks, we must never forget, as Matt Weisberg stated in his very own words, this is a tale of a rich company versus a rich company. Thank you, my friends, and good evening. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Yay! Bravo! Thank you. Well, oh, amazing stuff, Riley, for writing all of that out. Gee, yeah, well, the well, amount of research you had to do for this was unbelievable. Yeah. I again, I do want to apologize that I had to cut so much, but it was to kind of cover our uh, asses. <laughs> yeah, um, and bearing in mind, like I, I just want to let you know that I am not an idiot. After saying you've obviously seen our Samsung announced, that's actually how it was written by Phil yeah. Spencer. <laughs> Yeah, I couldn't change anything because we needed to stay true. And I will tell you this about these billionaire big boys. They can't spell and they can't write. <laughs> no. But uh, gosh, if you have any questions about what we just read you, holy crap. That is the best comment, uh, Jonathan. So will the last <laughs> season of Fortnite suck like the last season of Game of <laughs> It's looking like it. Uh, uh. Epic projected a um, like a, a profit of 145 million extra, and they they mm. were raw, they were off their their profits dropped. So I don't know what's about to happen, but uh, and then my thing here's my thing here's my thing, and then I want to get your oh thank you Karen. <laughs> I want to get everyone's opinion on this. I'd like to get Chat's opinion on this. Project mm -hmm. Liberty. Project Liberty was a fake coalition created by Epic to make them look like the good guys fighting for the common man, the worker, the developer. Um, yeah. But it was actually a front to just mm -hmm. make more money. Which um, is why they obviously had that 1984 style video go out when it, um, Fortnite got taken off of the App Store. It's part of the Project Liberty mm -hmm. um front basically right right um what what are you i want to get your feeling like chloe do you have any feelings about this like this is happening to us as gamers they're they're playing with us <laughs> yeah it, it just like looking at these emails i can't believe that they're real emails like they're real mm -hmm. it's, yeah mm. like i said it just seems like game of thrones just like some it does. yeah just the they politics were... of play. Yeah. Mad. <laughs> they literally refer to it as battles and wars and, yeah. you know, things. And, like, we have to get our, you know, war plan together. <laughs> it's like, yeah. wow. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Chad has asked question for the panel. Which uh, Game of Thrones house and or character do you identify with the most? It's Ooh. very easy for me. Uh, Brienne of Tarth, 100%. Really <laughs> easy for me, too. I've never watched Game of Thrones. Uh... <laughs> Look, where, like I said, the internet spoiled literally every key moment in that. I could never watch it. Yeah. Oh, that gosh. Is true. To be fair, I've never watched. Now, I'm an avid, avid, avid Game of Thrones watcher. Um, I did not watch the last two episodes because it was so bad. Okay. Yeah. All right, sorry, I, I must go back, actually. Um, Nana did donate 50 bits, I believe it oh, was. Oh, Nana, that's so, awesome. Thank you so, so much. Thank you, mate. I did hear Yeah, that was alert, during our reading, so yeah. Yeah, I couldn't check it. That's awesome. Uh, I yes. would die within... Why would I die within the first three episodes? Because you have honor. Everyone with honor dies in Game of Thrones. <laughs> oh, except okay. Brienne, All right, fair enough. Except for, except for Brienne. Okay. Brienne's the only one that survives. But um, anyone with any right, kind of... Fine. Fine, I'll, I'll take this. I'll be Sean Bean. 
At least yeah, I can but... die at the end then. That's yeah. not a lie. That would be you, Pete. You would absolutely be Ned. Absolutely, Ned. I, I literally, I do want to be Sean B in any way because then I can <laughs> die multiple times. Yeah. Just man. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> then, then, then I could live my fantasies as being a uh, 005, was it? Or uh, 006? Yeah, double o yeah, I think it was 5. I can't remember. But um, I, to, wanted, to... I don't know why I wanted to say Alex Trebek, but that's not no. that's not the right I, one. Um, let's to, to bring the focus back, <laughs> like, was there anything in there that was surprising in those emails uh, to either of you or chat? Um... I mentioned this in our table read. Nice guy, Phil Spencer. He's like, nice literally, guy. like, is of all the CEOs out of all of this, he is literally the oh. only one that probably just didn't care oh. about the whole thing. Thank you, Liz. Hey, thank oh, you, Liz. Liz just, just, just subscribed. That's so hey, nice. Hey, you should thank hopefully you. get a first as well. Yes. Aw, yay. That makes me so warm and fuzzy. Yeah, I think... Besides my portrayal, Tim Sweeney is a walking, breathing POS. <laughs> <laughs> he is the worst. He is the worst. Yeah, that um, was one thing actually that Jonathan said whilst we were reading is like you can't he can't help but hear Tove whenever he's like reading Tim Sweeney. <laughs> <laughs> well, he he slips in and out like he he tries to be so. Oh, thank you, Lynn. Oh. Thank you, Lynn. Um, he slips in and out like. When he's talking to Phil Spencer about Xbox, he's very, like, uh, submissive and kind of fealty and kind of, like, consoles are the best. But then Samsung is kissing his ass, and he's like, yeah, I am the best. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know I mean? uh, oh, yeah, screw those consoles, you yeah, know. Exactly. And mobile all the way. Mobile and then when the, 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 yeah, then exactly. when the console guys come along, it's like, yeah, fuck mobile. And then just the funny thing that um he has in uh, like a just an antagonist relationship with apple from like way back you know in 2013 where they didn't even know who he was <laughs> and um there's this one part i've cut out now to be fair i cut it out because there was only three of us and it really needed at least five um but it's a dev conversation and it's so funny because it touches on that it says why do we hate apple so much and they're like oh there's this just history and, you know, it, it's just this back and forth, like it's like a spitfire back and forth thing. And, uh, look, I can't say anything, but Tim Sweeney, he's got something against Apple. There is something there and no one can put their finger on it. And it's really, I think you can feel it. It's visceral in these emails. Yeah, it's it's. For some reason, it's like he actually got wind of that email that was like, "Who the hell is this guy?" And yeah. just, just had a be in yeah. on it ever since. That's why I call you the best line. Was this guy at our rehearsals? Sent from my iPad. <laughs> <laughs> that was the best part. It's That's just so like, good. sent from the iPad. Sent from my iPad. Yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah I, I am an Apple person. I have to include that as my signature. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. That's the thing. And this is way back in like 2000. 13, 15, when it's like, you know, that was still a kind of, uh, you know, a Steam thing, you know, oh, you have an I iPad, oh, oh, mm. you know. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> Kieran says, Phil Spencer is a real one, bless the guy. Yeah, through all of this, <laughs> Phil Spencer is a good guy. He just it is. It seems that way. Yeah, it appears that way. I mean, we only have, you know, four or five emails from him, but they're all real genuine and just down to earth and i don't know i just i like phil spencer even more i mean this. yeah like some of the impression i've always got from phil spencer when like during his stage presence that he actually does care about the gamers and like mm -hmm. yeah okay he works for a multi-trillion dollar corporation he, right but he just he wants to give games to the people you know that's what he wants uh uh well <laughs> there was some redacted emails. We had to cut out a lot of the Nintendo stuff. Nintendo yeah. and Facebook had to be cut. There's whole mm -hmm. sidelines. There's whole side stories. It's so great. It's like a soap opera. And yeah. like I said, I do have all of the uh, sources listed. I have them if you need them. Just out there for any DC or Maze. Um, and what you'll yeah, find yeah. is... Thank you. Uh, <laughs> is that... Facebook and Nintendo 
All references to Switch and Roblox. They have all mm. been taken down as of today. There's no yeah. I mean, e that. like I was um, checking out some news stories um, the other week. Oh, sorry, the other day. I think what it's came up on Spawnwave um, is uh, news is daily news videos uh, where it was literally like document after document after document that had Nintendo on, and it's literally the black bar that just says redacted. The whole <laughs> yeah. thing is gone. So we can only surmise that obviously the conversations between Phil Spencer and someone at Nintendo has to do with either one of three things, in my opinion. It's going to be either xCloud, Game Pass, it's... or a version of Rare Replay coming to mm -hmm. the Switch. As a person Which who's may from... include the Donkey Kong games. Um, yeah. I never said that. <laughs> As a person who's read the unredacted ones, um, boy, it sure is cloudy outside. <laughs> so... <laughs> um, um, but, uh, Jonathan in chat says, the chat requires a rapid reviews dance peep per sub. I agree. Lynn also agrees. I agree with J uh, Jonathan. Uh, sorry, yeah. Pete. So you must dance, Pete. You must dance for chat. <laughs> <laughs> Pete's pretending he's frozen. That's, yeah. his, that's his defense. <laughs> nope. I was just sitting there. Hoping you'd forget. Just do, no, no, do your Carlton. <laughs> yes, yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> happy. But, um, I, I, I mean, Lynn, you deserve that for the sub. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Um, but I do think it was very interesting. Uh, like Chloe opened with uh, Steve Jobs' quote, which. Mm. He said, you know, we should hold our heads high uh, because we're, I mean, I'm going to use my language here, but we're taking people's money, you know? It's just like, yeah. oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, everyone always saw Steve Jobs as like the good guy of Apple, didn't they? But he was Ooh. very, very shrewd as a businessman. He, look, I, I am a fan of Woz. If you know who Woz is, Steve Wozniak. Uh, was uh, Steve jo You mean Seth Rogen? No. No! He played Steve Wozniak in the film. That's why I said it. <laughs> I know he did. But no, Woz, Woz is so... He's so beautiful and kind. His uh, spirit yeah. is... I just love him. Like, yeah, I adore exactly. him. And oh. he is. He's just so kind. And Steve Jobs just... Just took advantage of him in every way possible. So I've never been a fan of Steve Jobs. And I'm an Apple Aaron, girl. Aaron, if you ever ask me to dab, I will slap you. <laughs> no, we need a dab! Okay, okay, Pete, what about, what about if we get 10 subs, will you dab? No. No, I, I refuse to dab because it's a fad. So? The Carlton, da the Carlton dance has been around for 30 years. That's true, it'll be around for 30 more years. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> No, nope, I think we'll have to get it. We'll have to. We'll have to put the dab as some kind of achievement level way up here. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> but um, uh, if you're, what? Go ahead. No, 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 don't worry. I was just. I'm going on to nerd stuff. I'm sorry. But if you're out there and you're very, very interested in this kind of background stuff that I'm just obviously I'm so passionate about, go read. I was. It's uh, mm. Steve Wozniak's uh, autobiography. He's just, he's so wonderful. He is. Mm. He, he also appeared on Code Monkeys, which I also love. Mm. Awesome. Which is a cartoon from like a million years ago that nobody uh, remembers. <laughs> oh my god, that was so, so long ago, wasn't it? It was, like 2006. It's like old, old. Still. Yeah. But it, it's, it's, it's good. But so at least we've learned... Phil Spencer's a good guy. Tim Sweeney's the devil. Uh <laughs> um, stop paying money to Epic. Stop paying money to Epic, and mm. Apple ain't that great either. But No, uh, at this point, if I was ever considering downloading the Epic Game Store, I'd be deleting it immediately. The only thing I've ever gotten from the Epic Store is when they do free games, and that's literally Yeah. It. I was going to say. Oh, hello. Hello, Super Lord, Super Lord Pedro. Hello. 
How are you doing tonight? Um, But we are discussing the craziness that is Apple versus Epic. Um, Mm. Also, I have to say, uh, I thought it would be too boring to include in the thing, but I do have to say because it was just funny to me. Uh, The judge is wonderful in this case. And she, uh, well, no, she didn't do this. Another judge did it. Um, Mm. So Apple submitted a list of 31 people that they said were their attorneys. And then Epic said, how do we, how do we know those are all attorneys? How, you know, it's just names on a list. And so Apple was like, fine. Okay. So they resubmit what? the list. Yes. They resubmit the list and they put, you know, dash attorney dash, you know, director dash whatever. And so Epic's like, well, See, not all those people were attorneys. We should re-review this. Re-review, which is a silly word. And the judge was just like, You're playing magic seriously. Like, come on. Yeah, he was like, we are not re-reviewing this. This is dumb. This is stupid. Um, And that can be found, actually, in the uh, Discoverables, which is free to the public, so... But uh, like, that is, the, is the discoverable still downloadable? Uh, yes, the discoverables okay. are still downloadable. Uh, if you guys will talk amongst yourself, I will go get that uh, email, actually. Uh, not okay. email, <laughs> URL. Uh, in yeah. fact, I'm going to put it in chat. These yep, are so... all... Yeah. yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, Super Lord Pedro. Yeah, uh, I believe I'm doing pretty well tonight. Uh, the rest of the panel, I believe, is doing okay. Yeah, I'm good. Thank you, Peter. I'm doing great. I'm full of work. Excellent. Uh, he said, also, how long have we got? We already did a dramatic reading of the, the vital <laughs> information before you were here. So please go watch, watch that. Yeah, go yeah. and watch the VOD. It's all about just billionaires being terrible <laughs> in a Game of Thrones style esque narrative. Oh gosh, that's terrible. But that right there, I've just posted the link in there. Those are the absolutely accessible documents. Those are, uh, they are required to be uploaded by both parties and they're legal. And that's not, that's not like the leak that's been going Mm. around. Right. Right. Well, that, that's on my, uh, on my web pages now. So I'm going to go and read. (laughs) I'll see if I can link you to the other, the, the other thing, but they are deleting these files almost. But yeah, because soon. they've been yeah because they're being sealed, so they have right. to. Don't they? But this is legal. I mean, this is a le- this is both Apple and Epic are required to upload to this link that I'm going to share with you. Um, mm-hmm. But as soon as they are sealed, they are taken down. So I okay. don't know how many are available, but here you go. So that right there, that is some great reading. Like I said, you can even find the dev conversation that I had to cut. Oh, uh, it's been uh, removed. Has it really? Yeah, it's been removed now. Aw, well that's disappointing, but... I, yeah, I've just went went to go and check the link, and it's literally like boxed on there, isn't it? It's just like, yeah, this has been removed. Really? I still have access to it, but that's probably because I was already in it. Yeah, I think uh, so. Yeah, but... Um, yeah, so... Uh, again, everything that we read tonight is absolutely legally open. It's out public domain uh lots of people Eurogamer, uh kotaku uh oh, what's that thing called polygon but there's the one that starts with the v like vg 24 7 uh vgc mm-hmm. yeah video games chronicle yes yeah. yes all of it's covered um so it's all good but it also shows you how insane these people are they are absolutely insane it's like people gave nerdy teenagers a ton of money and they got to just do whatever they wanted <laughs> that's a worrying state of affairs if i'm honest i, know. I, was, I was thinking <laughs> about me being like oh if i had the keys to nintendo or xbox or freaking even epic games yeah um, please 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 never ever have the keys to nintendo ever no, <laughs> no i i will i will sell my switch if that ever happens uh, Super Lord Pedro says the rich live in a different world than us. Oh my gosh, that is so true. And it is never more evident than these emails. And shut up, Pete. Don't say one thing. 
No, I wasn't saying anything, actually. I was literally just having a realisation that I know who that is now because he's comes from Chloe's streams. Oh, okay. And Millie's, of course. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yes, then... I've interacted in chat with, with, uh, with Pete. Oh, very good. Well, welcome. Man of my, a man of my namesake. Yeah. <laughs> oh, very good. Uh, and Kieran says, yeah, pretty sure all my Epic Store games were free. Yeah, mine exactly. Mine yeah. too. Um, I haven't even downloaded it. I'm not re just refusing to do it. They they say in the court documents they spent something like 11.5 million on free games, but that brought them 300 that million that users. I was going to say that doesn't necessarily sound right because they pay they were paying roughly like 15 to 20 million on some exclusives. I thought I'm, it was 115 million. I'm talking strictly about free games. Not, yeah, that's what I, I not thought free they to play, spent about, not free to play. Yeah, I thought I thought they spent around 115 million dollars uh million dollars uh, on it, not not 11 million. I could uh, look, let's Again, I could... Yeah, I I know. That's why I'm. <laughs> that's why I'm sort of like. Right. Uh, it's but only based on is... what I thought I'd heard elsewhere. So. Yeah, but the point is, they brought in like something like 300 million users uh, based on free games. But mm -hmm. I've only ever downloaded free games. I've never bought anything from them. Um. <laughs> yeah, pretty oh much. Oh my gosh! <laughs> when you start <laughs> digging into this, when you start seeing the money that Fortnite brings. It's, we're in the billions at that point. Um, and it's, it's, yeah, it's ridiculous. <laughs> um, and then, uh, but as I mentioned earlier in the stream, they were something like 145 million short than what they estimated. So Ooh, they're wow. starting to lose a little <laughs> bit. But I mean, they're still bringing in like a billion something. I mean, mm. I don't I... know. Like, I used to love, I did love Fortnite in the beginning. Um, yeah, me too. Yeah, I did as well. Yeah. yeah, this is like um when it was really early, like when it was still technically in what they called early access, and this mm -hmm. was before they started all the season stuff. Right, yes, 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 yes. It was very fun back then. I enjoyed yeah. it, yeah. Yeah, and then like I remember obviously like when, when they had made an update and they'd slightly changed the map as well. It was like, man, they changed the one area I used to drop into. This is annoying. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, yeah, I, I don't begrudge anyone that enjoys, uh, Fortnite. I mean, I like Battle Royale type games anyway. Yeah. Um, but there was something about when they started doing like, um, like suits, like, you know. Oh, the skins. Uh, skins. Mm. Thank you. I just started getting, like when they brought Deadpool in and then Master Chief, I was just like, oh. When they, for me, it was when they did all the uh, all the promotion for like Infinity War and Endgame when they brought Thanos yeah. into it. I was like, I'm I'm out. Oh, I'm there's yeah. this, Pete. There's this whole part that I had to cut. It's all. It's called the Marvel season. It's this whole oh. drama within it. Yeah. It's oh yeah, they biggest... had to try and negotiate with Disney on that one. Yeah, I had to cut the whole Disney stuff out because that's now sealed. Disney mm. is poison it's got it's this little tendrils and everything but we already knew that that's not yeah yeah, yeah exactly like um, I, I i might cause a minor 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 bit of offense with what i'm just about to say but there was an announcement by disney yesterday that i went devoid of creativity much oh no what and that was, was hocus pocus too um I... like come on it's been 20 plus years at this I'm... point I'm and Sarah literally... Jessica Parker still looks like a foot. I, I think her best looking is in that movie. It, but I'm she is, yeah. But, I'm literally know. the only person on earth who never cared for Hocus Pocus. I've, I've really never watched it. That. I've never seen it either. Oh, we had to watch mm. it in school. That was our thing. But you know, Halloween's like really huge in America. It's not really Yeah, it's here. a massive thing there. because it's all, Massive, you know. massive. Um, okay, so I'm going to catch up on chat because we've got a lot coming through. Um, Yo, squash. <laughs> Jonathan says I've only played like 10 minutes of Fortnite, but you cannot yeah. deny that it has really skyrocketed. Yes, it has. Mm -hmm. It 100% has. Um, Average Joe. Hello, mate. You right? Hey. Um, Lynn's never played. Lynn, you're not missing anything. It's turned into... Uh, not a fun thing in my all, opinion all you, 
Um, All you're missing is uh, drop onto a map, some shooty bang bang, that's it. Yeah, it's very formulaic. It's not much fun. Uh, Super Lord Pedro says the children in my son's class all talk about it. He's five. When he asked what it was, I said it's a bad game. Yeah, good. Good. <laughs> <laughs> and bearing in mind, it's got an age rating of 12 plus, and they shouldn't be playing. <laughs> and Jonathan says, and I give you the opportunity, Pete, plug your mm -hmm. Marvel podcast. It's on Go the internet. It. Go and find it somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> it's no, called uh, The Never not, Watchers. I know. I was just about to do that. Yep. Yeah, it's called The Never Watchers. I have uh, I basically talk through the films with someone who has never watched the Marvel Cinematic Universe before. I, I like that premise. I've always liked we, it. I've caught a couple of episodes. I've enjoyed it. We did Guardians of the Galaxy the other day, and oh, yeah. <laughs> Love that film. <laughs> I'm going to spoil it right now. That film is utterly incredible, and I loved I... every minute of it for the 20th time. Yes, that is, yes. Chloe, have you seen Guardians of the Galaxy? Yeah, but I'm going gonna... to offend many people here. No, you go ahead. No, fine. <laughs> I don't like Marvel at all. That's Fair okay. Enough. That's, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> but usually I'm... when I say that, everyone has a go at me, and I'm like, I'm no, sorry. No, <laughs> I'm not a fan no. of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I'm a fan of the old comics, not the current ones. Right, yeah. yeah. Um, but I do I mean, love that... Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, that's one of the things that I try to do is I do try to incorporate some knowledge of the comics in there to see how it's yeah, right. slightly different from what they did there. But Very different in Guardians of the Galaxy. Well, yeah, there's been like various different Guardians teams yeah, over exactly. the years anyway. Like, exactly. It's silly. I mean, I mean, Peter Quill hasn't even been part of the Guardians yeah. for that long in some respects, isn't he? Right. I mean, comparatively. Um mm. But of course, I love the director. Uh, let's see. Um, have they run? Oh yeah, of live James Gunn is already? fantastic. Like this oh, is what I we were saying. This, yeah. this is what we were saying on the podcast. Actually, is that he really does know how to like do like an incredibly like thought provoking like emotional oh, scene, and then just whack the whole thing up in a second with like some really obscure humor or something. Dad, it's like he Dad, has this Chris. like. Like this really emotional moment on the ship, like with him and Gamora, and then yes. he's like, and then he's like, she wouldn't want a black light, on it, like put a black light on this. It's like, well, look at a Jackson Pollock paint. It's like, oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> it's so bad. I love my favorite trope in all of, of of movie history is like super drama, super like, oh, it's so sad, oh, it's so sad, and then just cut what? it with like a comedy thing. Um, Lynn. I'm Lynn, catch up on chat. Hold on. Uh, no, I was just want to. I just want to ask a question okay. about this. As an Englishman, this is so confusing to me. Didn't watch in school for me. Was Monty Python in geometry? Who was your geometry teacher? Lynn and I went to school around about the same time. Okay. I have but to what, know. What, what, does Monty, what does Monty Python have to do with geometry? No, I, I need to know who your geometry teacher was. Mine sent me to in school suspension, ISS. Uh, but... Excellent. Uh, Coach Brown. Okay, fine. Okay, you win. Yep. Uh, a lot of our Jonah. teachers in school were coaches. Uh, that was. The uh, oh, I see. Okay. Yes. Um, anyway, let's uh, go through chat. Uh, we've got. Oh, there's squash. Yes, I see why you said hi. Hello. Yep. Uh, oh, look, average Joe. Hello. Uh, <laughs> Disney loves nostalgia, and people who love nostalgia, I've noticed that. Here's my yeah. thoughts on that. You guys, tell me what you think. Um, a lot of these kind of live action. Okay, first of all, Cruella Deville. I hate it. Hate it. I don't like anyone that kills puppies. I'm going to hate it. I'm okay. Not watch it. The Can movie. I? Let me just say something here. Sure. Um, I think Emma Stone is overrated as an actress. Anyway. Well, she's beautiful and she's yes. hilarious and super bad. Like I loved her in Super Bad. I mean, the only film I like of hers is Easy A. That's I've a great film. Yeah, it's it's brilliant. That's why because it's really well written. Mm -hmm. I don't think she gives that much to it. It's just right. solid I've performance, to be it. honest. I've not seen it. Um, but I think Disney does this so that they can keep their uh, what is it called when their IPs? Their IPs. Yeah, they have to like yeah. renew it every so often. 
yeah so basically they were um eventually if they don't actually do something with it some some of them do go back into the public domain right, so right. Uh, um what was it mary poppins was due to go back into the public domain and then they right. made uh, mary poppins returns yeah. just to keep the ip for a while that's that's the feeling i get um chloe what about what about you fan of live action disney um i don't know i do like when they first started coming out i did like mm -hmm. i was a bit excited for them mm -hmm. like the beauty and the beast so, i was really excited for them. yeah <laughs> I, yeah my, like i actually uh, quite like that one but yeah my yeah. partner went mental for that she really <laughs> wanted to go and see it it's one of her favorite films so yeah. I, I i took her took her to see it in the cinema of course because i'm mm -hmm. good like that but i i wasn't a fan uh but I love the original. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And like The Lion King as well. That's like oh. my favorite Disney film. Mm. Yeah. So I was like, yeah, but no, the live actions, they just, they just don't live up to the originals. It's just mm -hmm. all money grabbing. So yeah, yeah uh, for me exactly. as well, it's like, it's the fact that they, they don't, you, if you got a shot for shot remake, basically, it would be kind of pointless, you know? Um, and I felt like that was essentially what The Lion King was. It was oh, just a shot-for-shot yeah. shot remake. Like, yeah. And then the worst part for me about that was that I love James Earl Jones, but oh, they should right. have recast him, for oh, sure. Gosh, like yeah. Everyone else got recast but him, and it just was yeah. so unusual. And it's not... And to be honest, they didn't really change his his lines at all. Like They were no. identical. No, it's shot-for-shot, shot. it is. Kieran's leaving. Bye, Kieran. Oh, bye, oh, Kieran. Oh, look at you, Sunday. You have to come by Sunday. It's going to be great. We yes. We have an actual, real live writer. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is why we're doing our silliness now, so we yeah, can get, get all the, the sillies out. out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, no, uh, oh, I do need to watch Easy A. Okay, people are re re requesting mm -hmm. to watch Easy A. Um, mm. But, uh, let's see, well, Maleficent wasn't a nice person, but they made her nice. What the heck? Exactly. I don't understand. Um, what I heard mm -hmm. was that this is Disney's answer to Joker. Now, I'm going to take a very controversial stance here. I love Joker. I'm sorry, I do. I really love the movie. Um, because mm -hmm. it's a bad guy who is a bad guy. There's no, like, redeeming qualities about him yeah. at yeah. all. Um, so a lot of people are saying that Maleficent, not Maleficent, Cruella de Vil, sorry. Uh, Cruella yeah. de Vil is uh, Disney's Joker. Oh, I see, yeah. But mm. she kills puppies. I mean, she yeah. kills puppies. I can't. Yeah. I love puppies. I can't. I can't. No. I can't. It just I look i really like the animated original like from back mm -hmm. in the 60s. It's a yes, marvelous people. film. Like it's really mm. well done. Like, it's stretching it a little bit when you got to the 90s. We had the Glenn Close version of, of 101 yeah. and then 102 Dalmatian. Yeah. Like, mm, okay. But now, an origin story for Cruella? No, not interested. Yeah. No. I wasn't um, I wasn't a fan of Maleficent either when they did uh, What's-Her-Face. Angelina Jolie. Angelina Jolie. Like, I like the character of Maleficent being e like she is evil like mm. in you know uh, sleeping beauty you know because it makes sense and then they tried to make her sympathetic and it's just like guys come on why do we have to be sympathetic to bad guys why can't it be like joker where everybody is just bad because they're bad <laughs> yeah and that's the thing about joker is everyone in that movie is bad though like everyone. And, yeah top but down. he is like there's the no worst the worst yeah there's no good people. And I, I like that just very clear delineation of bad guy. This is a bad guy because he's bad. Not because he, you know, had an abusive childhood or had his ring, wings whip, ripped off of his back, you know, like Maleficent, you know, and that type of thing. No, he's just, he's just bad. He's just bad. He just likes being yeah. bad. <laughs> I, um, like I think I think we slightly missed a comment anyway oh, where okay. um, Squash, Pickle, uh, Squash had said, Shaun of the Dead was a science film once <laughs> obviously got harkening back to what lynn said about watching a film in uh watching monty python oh right i get it yes absolutely mm. uh yeah man yeah. i wish i could watch one of the dead in science 
I know, for real. I would have been all over that. We had I would to watch. Quoted it. We had to watch a show. I don't. It's an American movie. Um, I don't know that you would even know who it, what it is, but um, it's called Sweet Sixteen. I've it heard of like it. An, it's an '80s movie. It's like way old, but we had to watch it in our geography class because my geography teacher, Mr. Ritchie thought that one of my classmates, Micah, looked like the star of the movie. So he made us watch it for our oh test. My God. <laughs> and people wonder why I don't know geography. <laughs> hmm. I, think, I think the most films that I ever watched, like, uh, we didn't really watch that many films when I was in school, but really? we watched Amelie in French, obviously. Oh my gosh. Oh, Amelie. I mean, that feels fantastic, that... though. Yeah, but that makes sense. It's a French film, yeah. you know? That makes sense. Absolutely. Um, let's see. Uh, we've got... Let me roll back up to chance. Oh, I did really like Mulan. I like Mulan. I kind of want to see the live action of Mulan, but I know it's got a lot of controversy around it. Um, but it looks really Don't pretty. Don't support Disney for what they've been doing to the Yugo Muslims. Aw, yeah. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Um, I mean, they filmed, They basically filmed that right outside of one of their camps as yeah. well, and that is absolutely horrific. That's very true. I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah, just the absolutely disgusting state of, like, treatment of the Yugamisms over in China. It's utterly appalling, and to be honest, I won't support them for that. I, Especially I, when they're yeah. kissing Disney's ass as well. I know. And Disney's kissing their ass. Um, Jonathan says, so this one off the Apple slash Epic talk, but not that I mind the derailment. Squash says Lion King didn't need a live action. I agree 100% no, why didn't. it was perfect. Mm. Lion King um, didn't need to be made in Unity either, but they did. I know! I can't believe that. Yes, they made Lion King in Unity. And they actually got 60 FPS out of it when most devs can't. Unbelievable. Uh... <laughs> I agree with Super Lord Pedro. Don't remake something that was amazing the first time around. One hundred percent. It just didn't need. Now let's be honest. Uh, Lion King was copied off of Miyazaki. I forgot what his movie was called. Oh yeah, I heard about mm -hmm. that. Finally, you know, like, yeah, they. Yeah. A white lion or something. Yes, 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 yes. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Uh, Miyazaki's wonderful. I love him. Uh, and so. Uh, yeah, they didn't change his lines, so they didn't change his lions either. Oh. Is Jonathan with the pun trophy of the night. Yeah, the, the, <laughs> just the groan from me and Chloe just says everything <laughs> we need to know about that one. <laughs> um, I agree with Squash. Promo for Corella definitely doesn't Isn't show that? her as a good person. It does not. That's why I'm like, how are people, like, really into this? They're like, yes, queen, and all that kind of stuff in the comments. Oh, yeah. And I'm like... She kills puppies. That's all. I'm like yeah. that's that's it for me. I love puppies. Um, I don't think it was ever one of the best Disney films. I assume you mean one of 101 Dalmatians. Yes, it's out of all of them. I don't know. Aristic Cats. Uh, and then what was that one with the detective mouses? I forget what that was. Called. Maybe so, that the Great is. Detectives or something like that. Or the Mouse Detectives. Maybe it was called that. Uh, uh, the Great Mouse Detective. Great Mouse Detective. That's it. More you were close. Yeah, it was close. More excited for Cruella than a straight up remake of the Lion King CGI, to be honest. Yeah. If I had to weigh them out, yes. Look, uh, when I first saw the trailer for Lion King remake, I kind of threw up in my mouth a little. <laughs> uh, Jonathan winning the trophy again, in case you miss it, the angle at which you throw the holy hand grenade. Thank you very much. Uh, Obviously okay. equals geometry. Since you aren't reading all the comments, I'm I'm getting there. I'm getting there. We were uh, we were getting there. I'm trying to look on the bright side of life, you know. Oh my god! Oh my gosh, guys, guys! Whoa. I gotta tell you this. I gotta tell you this. Okay, yeah. so I am from East Texas, heavy, heavy evangelical East Texas. My mom adored Monty Python. She gave me a copy of The Life of Brian when I was eight years old. Uh, mm. She handed it to me. She goes, Kylie. You're going to love this. Do not tell anyone. Don't tell anyone at church you've ever seen this movie. And I went and watched it, and it was just wonderful. And the bright side of life is like, it's the best part at the very end. I love it. It's <laughs> so fantastic. Much. Now will you oh. just fuck off? Where do you want to fuck off to, Messiah? 
<laughs> so, good. so brilliant. Uh, let's see. Uh, Love Shot of the Dead by Lynn. Yes, you did. Absolutely. Um, uh, Lynn, did you happen to know that there is actually a reference to Shaun of the Dead in Hot Fuzz? Oh, because yes, it's actually because yeah, the... it's there's a deep no no there's actually a Shaun of the Dead DVD in the petrol station, <laughs> but it's not Very called good. Shaun of the Dead. What is like, it called? But you can tell obviously if you've seen the DVD cover, you know exactly what it is. Uh, Hot Fuzz is good, Lynn. If you get a chance to see it, watch it. It's good. Hot Fuzz is the better film in uh, my opinion. Jonathan's oh okay, Jonathan and Chloe both Kimba. Obviously, that's what I was talking about. <laughs> Um, oh uh, no! Jonathan wins three trophies tonight. That's three. Yeah. Turn on uh, another yeah, light. Kind of well if you want the bright side of life. Oh, <laughs> Lynn, I didn't know you were, you watched Hot Fuzz. That's awesome. Excellent. When you come visit me again, we're just gonna have a movie night. I'll have my media room all finished by then. <laughs> well, when you when you come over for Fanfare 2022. Yes. And yes. I'm over there as well. We'll have will we will literally here. do the Edgar Wright binge. Oh my gosh! Oh, it's gonna be so fun. Yeah, Chloe, because then I get to show to you space. And space is amazing. <laughs> once again, Chloe. Once again, all the RRUK team over yeah, in the Ireland. streaming house. Do you remember? Oh my gosh! Yes, I would, I would just die. I don't care. I hate Logan Paul and his brother. I hate them both. <laughs> But I love the idea of like a streaming house like they have. Yeah, we spoke about this before, didn't we? The RR <laughs> streaming house. It's I just Kylie's. Rooms. Just come live yeah. with me. <laughs> yes, yeah, well, there, there will also be Blackjack and Hookers too. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yes. uh, I'm about to finish out my gym, so there's also a gym. Uh, home gym to to play in. Um, yeah, if you if you want to run off the alcohol from consumed the night before. <laughs> oh my gosh! I also, fingers crossed, in a couple of weeks I'll be getting my uh, mini bar set up. Ooh. I thought you were going to say you were setting up a brewery in your house. I was like, no, oh, not okay, a brewery. That's, that's excessive alcoholism there. No, I am getting a mini bar. I'm putting it in the media room, but I have to break down a wall. But anyway, that's boring. Nobody cares about that. <laughs> My yeah, I'm pretty, house. Did Jonathan, yeah, did Jonathan say that he had to go? So, Jonathan yeah. has to go, which we hated. Yeah, Morgan uh, had the concert tonight. I hope uh, Morgan's uh, concert goes well. Yeah. Thank you so much, Jonathan. You are a hero tonight. Uh, yes, yes, you are. <laughs> six months subscription. Um, yeah. Just remember, you need to renew it in six months. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to um, try and get these names centered while you guys talk. So. No worry. <laughs> Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Uh, so Lynn has seen Hot Fuzz. Good. What did you think of it? Um, don't encourage her. I tried not to, but you know. <laughs> well. Uh, yeah, you are the winner today, Jonathan. Three trophies. You know, <laughs> definitely more than I've yes. ever won in my life. So, fair play. Absolutely. Uh, Look at me yeah. centering these names. I'm so good. <laughs> It's just the fact that you're pulling attention to it. It's just like, yeah, okay. Most people would just sort of just do things in the background. Yeah, well, I don't just do things. Uh, <laughs> and a dance. Um, there we go. Yeah, um, yeah, he subs for six hours. He gets a dance. He did get a dance. That's right. And so uh, did you, Lynn. So did you. Yes, that's true. Uh, we'll that's one more than my, my, my partner's ever got. Oh, my gosh. You're going to have to make her watch this stream. But, Look, um... He will never ever watch any of these live streams. I know. I, I don't. Know. I, I I appreciate that she at least take, pays a by passing interest by at least asking. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> I, look, gaming's not her thing. It's fine. I that's understand fine. that. You know what? That is just how. That's just part of life. Um, but we do hope you have enjoyed tonight. Uh, two reasons. One because. Holy crap, it's very eye opening to see how billionaires act. Uh, mm. <laughs> I like what Jonathan says. Don't make it weird, Pete. <laughs> um, I made it weird already. I mean, <laughs> you're our pay pig now, so that's it. <laughs> but um, we also hope if you enjoyed tonight, we would love to do more of that. Just crazy reads of billionaires. I'm not sure how it would work, but you know, if you enjoyed it, let us know. Uh, and we're always curious about everyone's thoughts about this Apple versus Epic. It's 
literally insane. Once there's updates, I really, really hope that once all of this is done, someone actually makes a movie out of it. it they've got to. <laughs> it's so dramatic. It's so over the top. Tim Sweeney mm. is like the epitome of the melodramatic bad guy. He's just, okay. he's so crazy. Yeah. Speaking of dramatic movies that are over the top, have you ever watched Frost Nixon? I haven't, but I have wanted to, yes. My God, yet, what a film. Ooh. What a film. Michael Sheen is just unreal. <laughs> uh, Jonathan Asmore, Roki, when? Uh, definitely Tuesday. Tuesday. I have to take tomorrow off. I've been pushing it like crazy this week. Uh, Disney, Disney Plus show? <laughs> yeah, totally on board with that. Um... <laughs> Apparently it's just a banana, sir. Uh, according to squash it's just a banana um but uh <laughs> but i do encourage you if you can get a chance to read those emails that are available they they are being uh, taken down pretty quickly <laughs> uh, oh my gosh uh, yes <laughs> very good <laughs> oh gosh um but <laughs> But it just uh, really opened my eyes to, to these billionaires. They're, mm. they're insane. Look, I, think, I think most of us have sort of already known that there was a massive disconnect between millionaires and billionaires and the, just the general public. But I think well, this yeah. one really puts, yeah. like, really hammers it home that, like, there is so <sighs> bad like, and they just, they do not care about consumers at all. But they well, like they to think that as, they do. They see you as a number. You're purely a number generating income. Mm. Um, and the thing is, like, I mean, like, we know that that's how they are. That's apparent. I mean, you know, but to actually see it. And, and the thing for me, the thing for me out of all of this, first of all, Tim Sweeney is a POS. Um, but um, <laughs> the thing for me was the Liberty, Project Liberty. That mm. to create a quote coalition simply on the basis of uh, we want to look like we don't want to look like the bad guys, we want to look like the good guys. Yeah, I just, uh, you know, I don't know, I don't know. It's just bad, distasteful. Oh, just hated it. Mm, makes me feel a bit gross. Yeah. Just yeah, having to read the, the, all the sliminess. I was going to say, we were going through the table read, and, and, and Pete was going, oh, I feel it makes me feel gross <laughs> reading this. And I was just like, guys, I cut out so much. I had to, because <laughs> legally I had to, that would have made you just... <laughs> oh, what? Hold on a second. What? Jonathan, there were two Facebook movies? I thought there was only the social network. Oh, right. I didn't know that either. <laughs> That's interesting. Yeah, I thought it was only the social network that was done, uh, had Jesse Eisenberg. It was done by David Fincher, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So that's right, yeah. I hate, hate that movie so much. I, it's just, again, I just can't. It's just not for me. I mean, I, I sometimes worry that I come across as a hypocrite because I am a business owner. I am the CEO of a corporation. Mm -hmm. But even if I make a billion dollars one year, I'm, I just, I'm never, that's, that's a different world. I can't be like those people. There were two Steve Jobs There were two movies. Steve yes. Jobs movies, yes. yep. Yeah, because there was Jobs, yeah. no, there was Jobs with Ashton Kutcher, mm -hmm. or is, what well, was it, uh, Steve Jobs that was um, Ashton Kutcher, and then it was Jobs yep. that had Michael Fassbender. Yep, and one of them had Waz in there. Go read. Uh, you were just, where we we obviously mentioned Seth Rogen earlier, mm -hmm. obviously. Right. Yeah. Yes. Duh. Of course. I already forgot. But Seth, um, Seth, Seth Rogen doing a doing a role that wasn't her uh, weed isn't that funny? He's uh, doing that. Uh, if, don't I'm look, not joking. Don't look I'm at his Twitter feed. He's like a hypocrite mm. now. No, honestly, like the the utter beef that he got in with Count Dankula was so <laughs> funny. <laughs> it's like, dude, you were like the weed king. You 
can't you can't pretend not to be <laughs> yeah, exactly it was i i just thought dank's response was just the funniest it was like but this is like you're you're saying that my jokes aren't funny this is coming from king her yes. weed you know yeah isn't that funny isn't that good you know that's what yeah. i was referencing God. God, I oh no his, his specific wording was weed lamau yeah that's it <laughs> Oh my gosh, that, but that was a funny time. What 2006? Those movies. I, I watched Knocked Up those. the other week. I don't, oh I don't my know gosh. why. That film is too long, too it's... annoying, and it is yes. just so. I watched it in the dated. movie in the theater. I watched that in the theater. That's how old I am. Yeah, <laughs> I, I watched. It. I watched it as well because I was a bit of a Seth Rogen fan back then. I was back you yeah, back then. I was like, oh, he's so cute. And he, plays the every man and he smokes weed oh, i love him <laughs> and then he and then you realize like very soon after that every role is identical <laughs> yo, yo. but he's um, not an actor he's just himself yeah but see i like that did you know he was the cameraman and also in scream oh yes he was wasn't he mm -hmm. totally uh, blew my mind what else <laughs> he was in other he was in donnie darko as well was he? He played one. Yeah, he played one of the bullies. I was an emo teenager, so Domi Donnie Darko was one of my favorite movies. I mean, Darko's <laughs> awesome. It doesn't matter like whether or not you're emo. I, was just I have not film. watched it since I was like emo teenager. So no, you still watch it. Now. It's still brilliant. Oh my gosh, that's like a was it American Beauty. I was like so oh, into that. Oh, this is a piece of art. <laughs> yeah, but it, it is a good, a really good film though. Um, but I think we're going to go ahead and wrap it up. Um, thank you so much to everyone stopping by. I think this is one of our, like, most populated chats of all time. I think so, yeah. We got up to, like, 15 people, uh, which is quite a compl an accomplishment. Yeah. Um, yeah. I very much thank Chloe for uh, doing her reads because thank you. it was the best. <laughs> it was just yeah. the best. <laughs> We we honestly couldn't have done this without uh, you, Chloe. You know, yeah, absolutely. Uh, volunteering no. yourself. We did have a couple <laughs> of others who had to pull out, unfortunately. But yeah, thank absolutely. you because this would have been so hard for just the two of us to do it. <laughs> but, would have been you know, way boring. <laughs> yeah. Now now you can go and spend time with your partner. Now you've neglected me <laughs> for the last three hours. <laughs> Yeah, it's fine. Oh, oh, he's used to it by now. It's three times a week with Millie anyway. <laughs> yeah, literally. Uh, that's right. Uh, let's, uh, Chloe, give us yeah, your channel so yeah, we can... Yeah, yeah, promo follow. your stuff. Follow oh, you. yes. I am now four followers away from 50. I think yeah, 50 on it. for affiliate. Oh, that's so good. So if you could follow me, that would be great. <laughs> Yes. What is your, uh, what's your Twitch yeah, put, address? Uh, just putting it in the link. Oh, put it in the right, link okay. in the chat, I believe. <laughs> yeah. yeah, get following. Get following, because it's yeah, usually Carl screens with uh, Millie, who has uh, done mm -hmm. some stuff with us as well in the past. Yes. Um, she do, was on uh, our Game of the Year discussion. Yes, and they do yes, a Animal Crossing. Day, so. Yeah, she nominated Animal Crossing, to, no, to the surprise of absolutely nobody, <laughs> of course. <laughs> But she was very impassioned in her discussion, so fair enough. Yes. Yeah. But yeah, you, you often stream with uh, with Millie, but you do your own streams as well. Uh, yeah, dead by daylight usually. Mm -hmm. But we're trying to play some more games soon, so cool. keep very an eye good. out. So, so what, what games do you think that you might be looking at, possibly? Um, Probably Minecraft, because Millie has bought a Minecraft realm. But we haven't been on it in ages. Oh, yeah, I, I think you did like one or two streams with Millie on her channel, and then it just stopped. Yeah, because I, because I kept um, kept winding you up about trying to make it a vegan. You were trying to make it a oh, vegan, yeah, the pig, but then yeah. ate the pig. Yeah. <laughs> I was That's like, this awesome. is the worst vegan vegan realm ever. You that ate pigs awesome. within five minutes of, of like dying of hunger. That is brilliant it was it. really it was really really funny good. that's very good yeah but, um, head over there for sure yeah you. will you um, be doing another um doodling stream this sunday Ooh, um, very good sunday i'm in work sunday so oh okay uh yeah i couldn't remember what but, day it was that you were yeah. doing doodles last week yeah chloe another 
other thing, uh, either link or say your, don't you have an Etsy store? You have a place where you can buy all your cute yeah. things. They're so yeah. cute. <laughs> I freaking love um, Yeah, yeah, promo all your stuff. Yeah. This is your adult yeah, promo is everything. Just throw Take all the it. links everywhere. <laughs> um, but I will say that as, as a person who, as a, uh, oh God, how do I say that? I enjoy Chloe's artwork. <laughs> it's oh, very thank you. cute. Very cute. Yeah. Uh, a lot of. Uh, I'm afraid to. Well, I'm not afraid to say it. I was the trendsetter of Rapid Reviews UK by asking her first, and I got all my people in me. Too. Oh, that's you right. Can see, you, you can see it all on Twitter. I was gonna yeah, say. I, I, thank you. I, paid, I paid well for that service, and it was yeah. money well spent. Oh, it's oh, so cute. You. It's absolutely cute. Yes, Lynn, you will love her animal doodles. They're, oh, they're so cute. They're so cute. Go check out the, her Etsy store because oh, they are you. really cute. Um, worldwide shipping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah. I do forget uh, Yeah, that. that might be a bit of a problem. <laughs> yeah. I kind yeah. of forget about the whole worldwide shipping thing. Um, yeah, not, not everyone is a business owner like you that ships are across the world. I know, it gets me in trouble. Ugh, I'm in trouble right now. Um, Instagram is <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, you Yes, there much. is. That's that's where you can really... Yeah, exactly. Just send it to Kylie. Um, but that's really where you can see uh, Chloe Shine. Is if you go check out her Instagram. Chloe, what is your Instagram? Oh, there it is. Uh, it's Chloe in the yeah. Straits. Uh, oh, I follow yeah. that. It is so cute. It's like you're scrolling through, oh, and then you <laughs> see... A little animal doodle and it just makes you smile and you're like oh yeah oh. and if you if you want to see them in action you can see the emotes the the stream overlays yes. on both yours and millie's channel right yes yeah That's and right. sophie mags oh channel. yes of course yes, doing yes. Stuff for that soon, so. yeah <laughs> Mem good. member number three of the scream the scream queens the queens, <laughs> yes. i love that so much that is so funny um but yes, and we thank yeah. our uh, chat for joining us tonight. It was a new little experimental thing. Uh, it took it 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 took a lot of work. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna hide it, that yeah. bit. It yeah, it took tough. it took five days for Kylie to um yeah. to put all this together. So fair enough, she ignored thousands of my messages. I did. I <laughs> did. It was terrible. I got like hyper focused, and I was tunnel visioned. And that's not good. Yeah. You shouldn't be that way. No, <laughs> no. It was, it was. It just made me laugh. It was like just the message that I put on before my partner came around yesterday. I was like, we must talk about Sunday's episode. And then like three hours later, the next thing I get is, look at this email. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's the problem with being autistic. It's like I'm so like focused on this one thing. Like nothing else matters. I'm just like, look at this email. It's so funny. And he's like, um, Kylie, the world's been bombed by like an atomic bomb. And I'm like, it doesn't matter. This email is funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Lynn knows the struggle more than most. Oh, I believe. Lynn knows the struggle quite well. I will be replying to you <laughs> soon. He's oh. still not responding to that message that it's been no, bombed. I have I have. I've responded about two. Oh, you got days a new ago. one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, Lynn. Uh, Lynn says in chat, when I visit, I wouldn't mind doing a reading. Won't know what I'm talking about, but it helps. Yes, I really want to do something like this again. Um, yes. It can be anything. And yeah, Lynn's like, yeah, yeah, I heard it before. Lynn knows more than anyone. I, Lynn's like my best friend. <laughs> I don't talk to her like ever. Yeah, it's. Yeah, you've oh mentioned it on the stream before. She has to come into the stream just to get a response to a message she sent you. It's the worst. It's very tough being friends with an autistic. Just know that. Just hands down. <laughs> Poor uh, Pete and Lynn know this way well. Just, just to let you know that I have another autistic friend who's friends with my partner who's very good at responding to messages. Really? It's just, it's just a Kylie <laughs> thing. No. Yes. No, it's just a Kylie thing. It is. I promise. <laughs> but <laughs> I do hope everyone enjoyed the performance. Um, I had fun doing it. I had fun putting it together. Mm -hmm. I had a really fun time working with Chloe and Pete. Uh, it was just fun. Uh, let us know. Let us know. Pete, can you rattle off all of our contact points? What, without looking at it? Yes. 
This is going to be a struggle, but I will try. So, remember, we are associated with Rapid Reviews UK. You can check out everything Rapid Reviews at www.rapidreviewsuk.com, where Chloe is Deputy yes. Editor-in-Chief. Whoop. Um, so, um, you can follow, uh, follow them on Facebook, Rapid Reviews UK, Instagram, Rapid Reviews UK, Twitter, at Rapid Reviews UK, the podcast-specific Twitter, RR uh, Radio Pod. Uh, you can email us, podcast at rapidreviewsuk.com. Uh, TikTok is tiktok.com forward slash Rapid Reviews UK. Um, we're on Twitch, but I'll tell you the Twitch. <laughs> Twitch.tv slash Rapid Reviews. Uh, not many people know about this. We do have a YouTube channel as well, which is just Rapid Reviews UK. You can just search that off on YouTube. All the podcasts go there. The streams go there. You can check all, all of that out because, unfortunately, VODs don't stay there forever. Right. YouTube does. Yes, um, YouTube is forever. <laughs> is there something else I'm missing other than so. Chloe? Ooh. Twitter? Do you have a Twitter you want to share? Yes, I do. At Right Blues Away. And, and I've shared my Instagram already. Yep. Yeah. Chloe Owen is great. And Kylie? Uh, if you want to <laughs> see it. my very boring Twitter as I deal with many things, <laughs> it's Kylie to greet at K I L Y T H G R E E T. It's boring. There's nothing there. You don't want to see it. <laughs> You, you do know to... you're going to get a load of followers now just, no. just to go and read the musings. No, it's boring. It's so boring. But if you want to check out my business, it's at Bamboozy and I on Instagram. That's that is the fun, first time I think you've ever promoted your own business. I've, I've got to start <laughs> promoing it. I've got to. I've got to. Because we're going to be doing Fanfare Belfast. So... Yeah, plug. Yeah, carry on. Come on, come on. Plug, plug. Yeah. Okay, don't look up. <laughs> That's a shame. It's oh, terrible. Oh. I've got like so many things. You are so useless at promoing yourself, yeah. aren't you? I literally am. Yes, a hundred percent. Honestly, go and check out Fanfare. Um, you can check it out on Twitter. I believe it's at Fanfare Belfast or Fan I just at so. Fanfare. No, um, I think it's Fanfare Belfast, and it's spelled uh, funny. It's at F A N. F A I R E Belfast. Yep. Yes. Yes. And it's it also that at Instagram. Um, yeah. And we're going to be doing a live podcast on that. So, but that's for uh, the future. Yeah, but that's not going to be until twen uh, summer of 2022, yeah, potentially. Because, uh, because if people don't know, Northern Ireland is still in lockdown. Yes. Which sucks. Like, so bad. It sucks so bad. Mm. <laughs> so uh, I have to wait. Yeah, and last of all, I guess. Yes, Pete, where can they find you? You can rants? find you can find me, some of my rants, my, I'll be honest, most of the time, sarcastic nonsense on my Twitter anyway. <laughs> so, uh, But you can follow me at Pete Beckett one b c k e double t uh, what the number one. But don't forget, the Never Watchers, please check oh, out the yes. Never Watchers. Yes. Um, that uh, you can follow them on Twitter at the ne at Never Watchers, but they are um, we are available on uh, most platforms: uh, Anchor, Spotify, uh, SoundCloud, Apple Podcasts, and Google Podcasts. Yep, yeah. I encourage people to download that. It's very good. Very good. Um, and I think that's going to do it for us. Um, we will be back on Sunday with our live stream of the podcast. Uh, please join us for that. We have got mm. a very special guest. Oh, yes, Lynn, we are on Discord. Yes, we have a public Discord, but I don't know how to there, say Discord. Uh, I will have to put a link into the stream description. Yeah. And okay. I will I will also put a link to the fanfare discord in there too. oh yes we've got to start building that up don't we oh gosh yeah it's like being a real thing oh, gosh. why the hell is it me promoting your discord because <laughs> you're better at it than i am <laughs> but i really just want like, right. i want like everyone from RRUK to just like come to northern ireland and be at fanfare 
We can all have fun. Look, I, I want Chloe, Millie, and Sophie all, all doing a stream there. That would be bloody that awesome. That would be so oh my cool. God, yes. Oh my gosh, yes. Live okay. Dead by Daylight. Oh gosh. We will but yeah, we but, do. Yeah, but <laughs> this yeah, is the longest uh, outro we've ever done. I know, but yeah, <laughs> I think Lynn's podcast. The only one left. I think so, but yeah, podcast. <laughs> you know, it's on Sunday, same podcast yes. time, same podcast channel. Yes, um, and I will be back on Tuesday with what I think is the last of Roki, but Jonathan says I actually have more like sixty percent left. Holy crap! Uh, yes. yes, you are, Lynn. You are very devoted. Yes. Woohoo! <laughs> I have great friends. Uh, I've always said that. I have awesome friends. Um, anyway, and then me. Yes, you're included in that. No, I oh, said, and then me. No, not and then you. You're included in that. <laughs> oh, come Everyone's on. Have included. you not figured it out that by now it's just a sarcastic waste of time I what I say after that? Sick. I can't tell. I know, I know, I know, I know. I should remember this. You're also American. It <laughs> also makes it American. even more of a problem. <laughs> yes, it makes it twice as hard. Um, but anyway, mm. we've had a wonderful night tonight. Uh, thank you so much. Again, thank you to Chloe. Thank you to Pete. Uh, thank you to everyone for joining us. And we will see you Sunday. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.